in today's talk takeaway, our next guest says that the key to getting fit is being organised. Here to show us how is master organiser and a very dear friend of mine, Justin Kloski. <laughs> All right, explain, Justin. Okay, so if you want to commit, yes. commit to getting fit, yes. feeling good, yes. and staying healthy, not just physically but mentally in 2013, you have to, have to put it on your calendar. Set appointments, set reminders for yourself because if you don't, you're going to skimp out on it. Everybody here I know put on their calendar to come to the talk today, yes? Yeah. All right. So you have to treat exercise in the exact same way. Don't cancel your exercise appointment. Treat yourself right. For that reason, get a calendar, okay? Sunday nights, plan out the week. Monday, I'm going to do my cardio. Tuesday, legs and back. Wednesday, I'm going to take off because I deserve a day off. Thursday, back and biceps, chest and tries. This is just an example, but set to it, stick to it. And then take it a step further, right? Go to your computer, put it on there, or put it on your phone. Reminders pop up. We all have phones, so set reminders an hour before. It's time to exercise. Bam. Okay. Thank you. Very nice. Now, um, you also say to keep a packed gym bag always available. So why is that so important? It's important. You're a busy lady, right? Yes. So the last thing you want to do at the end of the day is go home and deal with getting ready for the gym. Mm -hmm. You relax. You start reading something. An hour and a half goes by. And before oh, you always. know it, you're not going to the gym because you've already kind of settled into mm -hmm. your night. Mm -hmm. So having a packed gym bag with a full workout gear. Perfect. Shoes, shoes. A lock, which I love that we have here. For the, for the locker. Totally. Headphones, because you don't yes. want to miss that playlist that you yes. spend all that time on. And then a toiletry kit with all of the things that you use to make yourself feel good, to groom yourself so you don't have to go home. You can take the water bottle too. Awesome. I do this. I put my gym clothes by the door so that as soon as I walk out of the bedroom, they're staring at me like, you need to get in the gym, lady. And uh, it motivates me. Yeah. Yes. And mo awesome. that's, yes. Yes. Motivation. But don't forget, you have to restock it. Yes. You have that gym bag, whether it's living in your office or your car, you have to have the discipline to restock it. Otherwise, right, because then if you open it, it's smelly, then you don't want to work out. <laughs> yes. Exactly. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Justin. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that knife. I'm cutting. I love I'm it. I'm cutting. Okay, so Justin, you say that another way to get trim is to prepare healthy snacks. Uh, early in the week. Absolutely. You got it. And I love that you said trim because look at this assortment of food here, mm -hmm. right? We have blueberries. We have strawberries. Oh, yeah. We have almonds. Mm -hmm. We have, hello, hello. We have mm -hmm. some watermelon. I'll do some of that. Mm -hmm. But everyone needs to understand go out, right? It's the beginning of the year. Go out and buy some new plasticware, right? Go out and get some new stuff. We all have this stuff that's been sitting around mm -hmm. that doesn't have the lids. It's been through the dishwasher that's too right. many times. She gets right. it. Why aren't you feeding me anything? What's going on over oh, here? Okay. Okay. Hold on there. But remember, if you <laughs> remember that if you prep the healthy stuff, you're going to be good, and you're not going to gravitate towards the unhealthy That's things. Right. Mm -hmm. So have labels, prep your food the same time you're doing the calendar, and you're going to be good. You're going to make me a jelly sandwich? No, it's just this is very good. Taste this. All right. Prep your food at the beginning of the week, okay? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Hi. So you say in order to get inspired to get fit, somebody should make a vision board. What should they put on their vision board? I love that, Sarah, because a vision board is just a, an extension of yourself, right? So if you want to think positive, you want to have a, a, a weight goal to reach, put a picture of yourself up there 10 pounds lighter. 10 years ago, it doesn't matter because you know at one point <laughs> you were there. And Fourth grade photo going up. <laughs> but you know what? We can, we can joke about it, right? But if you're, if you're putting something to envision, you're going to act on it, and you're going to go at it. And then add some inspiring quotes. I love here, impossible is nothing. Attitude is everything. Find people that inspire you, add them to your vision board, and take action on that. It's very inspirational. When we come back, Justin will show us how our food pantry might be undermining our fitness goals. Don't go away. We're back with master organizer, Justin Klosky. Now we've moved to the kitchen, Justin. We're hanging out by the pantry, and you say when you're arranging your pantry, it is key to keep healthy food choices at eye level. Why is that so important? It is important because when you open up the pantry, the first thing you see is what? 
Walnuts. Exactly, because <laughs> and it's, almonds. And almonds, because they're at eye level. And you did my pantry, and I when I came home, I thought I was in the wrong house. It was so fantastic, <laughs> amazing. Thank you. Well, I like your pantry, you can see we have yes. similar things here. And the, the reason why we put things at eye level is if you're seeing junk food at eye level, that's the first thing your eyes are going to gravitate right, towards. Right. So take all the junk food, pull it out, put it down low, put it up high. Or if you're really committing in 2013, get to... rid of it. Exactly, yeah. get rid of oh, it. Yeah. All right. Because I have gotten on a step stool and climbed up to the top of the thing and reached in the back to get some candy. So out. get rid of it for that reason. And also, this is the perfect time to get rid of food that's expired. Mm -hmm. So while you're changing things up, there you go. That's Justin awesome. Kosky, everyone. Thank you, Justin. For more information on Justin's tips, go to thetalk.com. Thanks for joining us today. Remember, it's always the right time to have the talk!